beautifuls, this is Arami here and welcome back to XOXO Droplets. We're here, about to go on a date to the zoo with our beloved boyfriend Everett. And he doesn't like it, but oh well, buddy boy. I can't believe I'm going back to the shitty, sh shit, shit lady? Shit, <laughs> what? Shitly little zoo. Hi to you too. Hey. Yeah, hi. Okay. Since you're being so fussy, I'll let you pick where we start. No fucking things. Like I care which nasty animal we look at. Sheesh, this is what I get for being generous? Complaining? You're joking. How is that generous? Why do you get to pick what we do by default? I don't know. As the developers. Because <laughs> I'm the one who invited you. That's shit. You're the one who wants to spend time with me. You should always let me do what I want. Oh, brother. I'm starting to question why you want to spend... Why I want to spend with you. I spend time with you, I assume. Just kidding. This is exactly why I hang out with you. Don't try wiggling out of this. Why shouldn't I get to decide what we what we do? I don't know. Why are you making su making this such an issue now? This isn't the first time we've gone out together. <laughs> Stop acting like fucking Shiloh and answer the question. <laughs> Whoa! I was doing a Shiloh thing there. I hope you guys aren't rubbing off on me. Marty, perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I can tell you, but it's just gonna make you more mad. Are you trying to be Jeremy now? No, I meant it, but here it is. I have to be the one to pick you because you need other people to make decisions for you. <laughs> Fuck you! We both know it's true. It's the truth, Everett. I don't listen to anyone except me. Okay. And if we asked anyone other than you, would they agree? Yeah, they'd agree with me. The only people who'd agree with you are those complete losers from our group. Oh, so Nate? Mm-hmm. Your best buddy Nate included. I let him think for think that for his sake. He's he always needs to be in control. So your mommy is the same way. We just talk. She doesn't make decisions for me. Uh-huh. What exactly do the two of you talk about anyways? I feel like I know so little about such an important part of your life. Ugh. Can you stop? Why can't a guy get along with his mom without ever making such a huge fucking deal about it? I'm not making a deal out of it. I think it's cute. Sorry. I'm just having a little fun. Like hell you are. You really think I'm some mama's boy. Yeah? Why don't you enlighten me? I do still want to know about your mom and your real relationship with her. Uh, what am I supposed to- What- what am I even supposed to say? How about we start with something simple, like the last time you told your mom about- Who cares? Not, wait, what, what? The last thing you told your mom about. I don't really remember. Wow. I started so small that was still too much for you? You're such a bitch. I know, that's why I'm gonna point out that you needed me to decide what you said about your mom. I was just trying to be nice. I, like, I know what garbage you want to hear about. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, like, I know what garbage, okay. Your mom is not garbage, Everett. You're right, she isn't. I should really be taking talking talking to her instead. Sorry, I've gotta make a call. But don't wait up. It's probably gonna take a while. She's gotta tell me every move I'm gonna make for the next month. Alright, I took it too far. Sorry. Uh-huh. How about we just forget all this and go look at the bears? Why bears? I like the bears. We can look at something else if you change your mind about not caring and can pick an animal as a visit. <laughs> There's nothing I want to see. Yep. I thought as much. Have you warmed up to the zoo yet? No. Hell no. Too bad. <laughs> that was such an abrupt date. I didn't learn anything. Ever, you didn't enlighten me on anything, by the way. What is that last date going to look like? Absolutely nothing as well. <laughs> That's gonna be troublesome. Text Everett. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sit with Everett. Okay, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, is this a nor- <laughs> I was trying to skim through and read 
The little fast riding? It was just them having a normal meeting. I don't know if we have enough points. 85. We're like three short. Wow. And that'll be the last date. Holy cow. The end is near. That's when I know we're near the ending. Hi, Nate. You look so beautiful smiling, by the way. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Call. Everett? We're going on our final date, Everett. Yeah? Hello, shorty. Want to go out tomorrow? I guess. Can you try being more enthusiastic? Uh, no. I've got a lot to do this weekend. <laughs> Pull the other one. I have a ton of stuff that I do. Well, that's still not an excuse for such an attitude. I said I'd go already, didn't I? If that's not good enough, I can just stay back. Okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's better. Now, where are we go <laughs> gonna go? The zoo! Again? Yep, and I know you're busy, so I'm sure you don't have the time to argue about where we go. I'll just say that I'll see you there and leave it at that. Wow! So clever! Bye. Uh-huh. Bye, handsome. Whatever. You know you like it when she calls you handsome. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. Oh. This lag makes it hard for me to choose. Ugh. Oh, I thought I was done seeing all your outfits. You look so cute. I don't like the pants. I could go with like black pants or something. What is it? Nothing. Uh huh. That didn't sound like nothing, babe. Who cares? Just forget it, okay? Fine. Hey, isn't that nice? Hmm? Oh, it's so laggy. Your shirt. Oh, thanks. No problem. It's sweet how excited you are about school. Uh, sorry. Where did that come from? Well, your shirt has some school colors and even a plaid-like pattern. That seems like a cute little way to show all that school spirit of yours. Really? That's it? Do you honestly think that was on purpose? No. I was making fun of your goofy outfit. For the record, I also could have asked if you plan on becoming a lumberjack. What the fuck? Come on, a plaid shirt with a big ass turtleneck? You could totally be a lumberjack in training. Just grab an axe and some flapjacks on the <laughs> and the picture would be complete. Huh. Also, for the record, I think you went with the wrong choice. The lumberjack one was better. Damn, I knew it. Better luck next time. Man, that's such a shame. Get over it already. Okay, I'm over it. You're such a pain in the ass. Thanks. You, you still love me, though. So, you ready to start looking at the animals? Uh-huh. Sure. Groovy. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's get to it, then. I'm telling you, he was standing up to see me. Maybe he started to recognize me because of how often I come to visit him. Please. Scoff if you want, but the two of us definitely have a connection on a deep level. You're delusional. That's fine. I wouldn't expect someone so out of touch with nature to get it. Mm hmm Hey. Are you sure you're okay? You've been distracted this whole time. I told you to not worry about it. I'm not worrying about it, though. I'm just annoyed that it's bringing down the mood of the date. So spill. I don't want to tell you. What? There shouldn't be anything you can't tell me. I'm supposed to be your number one confidant. You're joking. You don't seriously think that, right? Fine. Number one is asking for too much. But at least be in second place after your mom. Well, you got a little closer. No, you, you forgot Nate me. Seriously? Are you kidding me? I'm still below Nate. If you cared about me at all, you'd understand why he always has to be above everyone else. Oh well, yeah, he's a nut. But whatever. Why can't you... <laughs> I'm number three. Why can't you tell me? Deal with it. Because I don't want to. <laughs> it's something embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed by it, but I don't want to hear you go on about it for fucking ever. It has to do with your mama. <laughs> Who knows? I know you so well. I totally deserve to be told. Fine. Fuck. Remember how I said I was really busy this weekend? Well, I was I, I was so caught up in other stuff. I forgot to call my mom before I went out today. <laughs> That's it? I wouldn't expect someone so dead inside to understand. I'm sure she'll be okay if you call her when you get back. Mm -hmm. 
If it means that much to you, you can call her now. What's the catch? On one condi- <sighs> Oh wait, why'd you ask already? And? <laughs> Cause it was obvious that was gonna happen. I want you to talk to her on speakerphone. Hell no! Come on, I want to talk to your mom too. She might be my mom someday, you know? Mercy. Let me talk to her! Okay, I'll call her fucking hell! Hooray! Everett, honey? Hey. Hey, mom. Sorry this is late. Hello, Miss Everett's mommy. Oh, who's this lady I hear? I'm his girlfriend. Well, my, <laughs> my goodness! He didn't tell me about... Wait, he didn't tell her about me? Are you sure this is your mom and not your grandma? Stop that. Don't be rude. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. You're a good kid in front of your mama. Anyways, I'm out right now. I just wanted to let you know I didn't forget. Thanks, baby. <laughs> and you complain about me calling you shorty? Shut up. Bye. Alright, I'm gonna go. Not yet! What the fu- Fuzz? <laughs> he gets a curse in front of his mom. <laughs> you can't hang up your dumb old phone yet. Yes, I've been dying to talk to you, Michiko. Oh, she knows who I am! You know my name? Ever has told me about you. Aw. How sweet. I put it off as long as possible. Uh-huh, sure. Tell me about yourself, Michiko. Oh, well, I'm very pretty and charming and popular and funny. And a pain in my ass. What about you, Everett's mom? Let's see, I do babysitting for the other parents around my town because both of my babies are out of the house. I like to go out dancing and I do a lot with my church. Also, I'm still quite the looker myself after all this time. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Mom, you're not that old. I'm pretty old. Hardly. Ever is still a baby. You can't be that old. He he'll always be my baby. What a coincidence. I feel this Don't make jokes like that to my <laughs> to mom. She'll take you seriously. <laughs> but you are my baby. Cut that crap out right now. Oh, you're so cute! Miss, you're so cute! Anyways. You're so cute, Everett. You don't have to worry about Everett so much anymore. I'm taking good care of him. Thank you. I was a little worried he'd never find anyone. Obviously. Mom, I was single because I wanted to be single. I know, but still. I guess he was just a late bloomer. Okay, that's it. I'll call you back later. Okay, bye, baby. Bye. Bye. That was great. We should do it all the time. <laughs> Oh, I hit my knee. I'm out of here. Y yeah, no, I'm going back to look at the lions. Hey, wait for me. That was so cute. I really like that. Oh, that was cute. I didn't expect like a, a voice line. So your mom seems pretty nice. Duh. I'm very, I'm very happy I kept that date as the last one. My knee really hurts. I hit my knee on my desk because I got a little too excited and hit like try to straighten myself in my chair. You should let me talk to her again sometime. Fuck no. Mm -hmm. You mean fuzz no. Like hell I do. I think she likes me. <laughs> she likes everyone. I bet she wants to meet me. Why would she want to meet some random chick I dumped? Oh! Oh wow! Calling shots out here, Everett? I don't know. Good thing that's not me. <laughs> yeah, and you're lucky for it. Aww. Aww. Yep. I am. She played along with him. Oh my god, that was so cute. Alright, Evra has done taken first place. Goodbye, Bay. You're number two now. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Bay. Hey, yeah. Hey, wait up, Everett. Yeah? That's your... This hasn't started in a Marty Dunn tune. Okay, I'll cut to the case. I want you to talk... Oops, not talk. To walk me to my dorm. Fuck no. Why not? You're kidding. Are you kidding me? I've already got a walk to my own dorm. Why would I want to walk to yours too? It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will be. It won't be super lame at all. Can you ever do anything for anyone else in your life? Yeah, no. Haha, no. <laughs> you jerk. Too bad. I want you to walk with me. Not my problem. You walk to mine. Sure, i love to spend that time with you. Good. Not so fast, I'm walking you tomorrow. <laughs> Today is still my turn. And before you say that's still too lame, how about this? You walk me back, and I'll do this. I'll do something for you. Oh. Oh yeah. What? Mm, I'll give you a big smooch later. That's a favor for you. <laughs> I just rolled my eyes like bitch. And having everyone see you enjoying life with your amazing girlfriend is a favor for you. Oh come on. Hmm. Fine. 
I still better get my fucking turn. I can't be the only one doing this shit. Sure. Of course, babe. Of course, babe. I got you tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> that was so cute. And now we just have to play until like we hit uh, prom day. Which is a long ways away. Right? It's in May? We're in September. Oh my god, we just started doing birthdays? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh shoot, my Saitama figure dropped. Oh god! Oh god, everything's dropped. Okay, I just gotta... I just gotta... I just gotta fix my figures later. Alright, you two, you both can have a break now. But only 15 minutes. I don't want anyone to be confused and think this break is as long as they feel like. <laughs> Thanks. Good. I'll come back. Uh, I'll come later then. So, Everett, since we're on a break at the same time, why don't you talk with me? I guess. Alright, why do you work here? Actually, why are you working at all? Aren't you too cool or lazy something for the. Or, or, yeah. <laughs> There's dignity in hard in a hard day's work. Seriously? Really? Fuck no. That's just what my dad says to make himself feel better about it all. <laughs> He's also why I do this stupid thing. They'd stop sending me stuff if I didn't get this valuable work experience. Yeah. Damn it. Damn. It pisses me off. Like school isn't already enough of a job. Well, okay. I did not realize that this was such a sore spot for you. Should I even bother asking you to answer the first question too? I work here because all the other jobs are trash. Not hard to figure out. Uh-huh. And why is this place the best job? <laughs> That's a question. Yeah. yeah? Yeah? Do you even know what the other things are? Yeah, I'd totally love to get covered in crap at a bakery, twirl away in a musty warehouse, be driven to bang my head against a wall by the losers at the bookstore, or be terrorized by a bunch of brats at a daycare. And don't even get me started on the hobby shop. Sheesh, you're so hostile right now. Just relax, man. You're not being forced to go work at those places. You're still safe and sound right here with me. Mercy. Can you shut it already? I hate talking about this. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure you do. You seem totally ready to rant about your job situation. I'm out of here. That's it. I'm done with this. Bye. Okay. Just remember to be back on time. 15 minutes only. I'll do what I want. Okay. That's not my problem. Yeah, man, we, we just started doing like birthday celebrations. Like in person, do whatever they want. Traditional birthday ones. Ugh, I thought we were so far on. We're not, we're not even halfway there. But at least we still have, um... Oh, like, no more texting. At least we still have the working story modes. And then after that, there's nothing. There's nothing at all. Sad. What is this? Hey. Oh, it's a storyline. Okay. You're late. So sorry, I'm in demand. There's only so much I can do. Whatever. Tell me, what does your little group of popular friends think of us as a couple anyways? <laughs> eh. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. I'm still not happy I didn't get to be there when you first broke the news to them. They sort of thought the same thing I did when you asked. That it was a horrible idea? Yeah. And did you make them change their minds about it? Yeah, no. You big baby. Of course. I guess I shouldn't have expected more from you. Hey, I'm already sacrificing a lot for this. Uh-huh, like what? Obviously. Like having to make people mad because I'm officially taken and they were interested. And whenever you do stupid, uh, something stupid, I'm going to have to stand up for you. Right. Okay. Right back at you, except twice as much. <laughs> yeah, right. And who cares what they think about us anyways? You care about what your friends think. Since when did it not matter? Duh. Uh, since forever? No, really, though. People care what I think, not the other way around. Yay. You care about me than <laughs> you care more about me than them. Yay! Though expected. I care more only because I don't care about their opinions at all. I don't know if I should feel happy or not. <laughs> don't embarrass yourself by making a big deal out of nothing. Okay, I'm not upset anymore. Thanks, handsome. Fuck, you're annoying. <laughs> but you still love me. 
so I, I I'm not that mad. <laughs> I'm not that mad. Oh, I'm so used to calling him. We can't call him no more. Melanie? Yeah? It's time for your break. Okay. Okay, where's Everett? I think he's already taking a break in the back. Well, tell him to come out here. Alright. When you're telling your manager to tell... <laughs> you're bossing your manager around? What is it? I'm on break. I know, so am I. And? And I was bored. I was gonna be bored. Talk to me. Why should I do that kind of favor? <laughs> do you that kind of favor? Because talking to me has got to be better than sitting around doing nothing but hoping someone will reply to one of your texts. Like I'm sure you were gonna do you were doing back there. Eh, fine, I'm listening. Sheesh, you're always in such a lousy mood at work. Mm -hmm. We already went over that. Did you think it was just gonna change? No, but that would have been nice. Not my problem. Oh well, for you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't mind me asking, why do they let you, they they still let you work here? You're not exactly a joy to have around. I don't know. It's not like it's a secret I hate being here. You'd think they would have kicked me out by now. Interesting. I wonder if everyone is too nice to complain. More like too stupid. Uh, pfft. Hey. I haven't complained about you either, you know. So? I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that because I thought of something. Maybe it's because most of the people you work with, you know you at, uh, with you know you at school. So they get that this isn't the real you. Normally, you're a different kind of annoying. Uh huh. Uh and what about Adrian? I'm stuck with him all the time, and he's such a goody goody. There's no way he's he hasn't ratted me out. Um, I don't think so. Adrian probably doesn't realize the extent of how sucky you are as an employee and person in general. Please, he may be off in Wonderland, but he's not that dumb. I wouldn't say he's dumb, but I still don't think I'm wrong. He doesn't really get these kind of things. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care why. All right. Well then, let that settle, then look at that. It's time to go back to work. Ugh. You're welcome, Everett. Spent your entire time with me. Very much appreciated. But this is where I am gonna stop for today's episode. Um, I might just start doing, like, off-camera work. Unless the storyline hits. So that way we can get to closer to prom. So that's probably gonna be one more episode with Everett if I plan to do it that way. Oh, that sounds so depressing. <laughs> I'm not ready. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.